Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com If you haven't already please click that button and subscribe to our channel As you can see right in front of you there I've got a lovely large pot of a zucchini courgette or kusa soup What I've done with this one we started off with some butter touch of olive oil the spices and herbs I'm using today are fresh mint, lemon, nutmeg and cardamom I think that's a lovely little combo keeps it nice and delicate but of course go ahead and do what you like really at the end we've added a touch of cream to smooth it out it's delicious let's go and do it okay so let's get started you're going to need a quite a large pan obviously because we're going to make quite a lot of soup here well I am it today in there I've got some butter I'm using an unsalted butter entirely up to you just have to watch how you season and I've got a drop of olive oil in there what the olive oil does will stop the butter from burning Simply, we're going to start off with our potatoes, in they go. And carrots, about equal parts of. What I've done is I've used a mandolin to, as you can see, I mean, if you're not familiar with a mandolin, it will cut them really thin and really evenly. But you can chop them anyhow you like, really, because we're going to liquidise the whole thing. I mean, these are great for, like, potato chips. So... I'm going to add some salt and pepper and then simply we're going to sweat this down for about four or five minutes. Touch of salt, there's the pepper. Give this a little stir and then sweat it down. Just so you know, the carrots and the potatoes are about equal parts and then the zucchini, which I've got here already, is about twice as much as, as both of them. So not on a high heat, just on a kind of you know medium heat. We're not trying to burn this, we're just trying to soften. Lid on. Let's take a look. What we've done here is just give these guys a little head start. Now I'm going to add some garlic. It's like two cloves or three cloves for this amount. And I've got here some lemon, half a lemon. I'm just going to squeeze that in. And we can put that in, the whole lemon. Put that in, we'll fish it out a bit later. Now for my spices today, I'm going to use some cardamom powder and some nutmeg. There's a tiny amount there really both are quite pungent like a quarter of a teaspoon of each I just think these two spices work really well with the courgette or the zucchini which again is a fairly kind of delicate vegetable but go ahead and use what you like I mean it kind of determines the spices determine what kind of the soup is, so you could curry it now, couldn't you? Put some big spices in, get some Italian type stuff in there. Maybe some sort of Mexican-y, sort of you know, cumin and paprika. But today I'm just going to go for this little combo, which is the nutmeg and the cardamom powder. Okay, now, again, let's get our, well, the star of the show, really, the zucchini in. As you can see again, I've cut them with a mandolin, but you can use any method you like, because like I said, we are going to liquidize this whole soup. Lid on, cook this for about eight to 10 minutes. Stir often, I mean, what we're trying to do here is just kind of soften all of our vegetables now and get those flavors pumped into them. Keep an eye on it. Let's jump in now, take a look. What's the steam coming out of there? So these are softening really nicely. And at this point, I'm just gonna add some cold water. Enough to kind of cover it there. You now need to turn the heat up. 
we need to bring this to a boil. We may add some more water, depending on the thickness. I don't use stock generally. Um, not not a big fan of, uh, especially those cube kind of bullion things. If I've got some fresh stock, then I will use it, but I don't today. So I just prefer water. Maybe a drop of white wine could be nice now. Maybe I mean, as you wish. I am now going to drop in here, which is add another lovely, lovely flavour. It's uh, some fresh mint. Again, you could use some parsley, cilantro, or some other fresh herb. I just think this combination is really, really nice. Okay, so we're on a high heat now. We need to bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn it down so it's then on a rolling boil. I would imagine we're then going to cook it for about another 10 to 12 minutes after that, depending on how you've cut your vegetables. Basically, we want kind of baby food is what we're looking for, a nice mushy texture. Then we can liquidize it. And like I say, we probably will add a little bit more liquid. Let's take a look then. Okay, off goes the heat. Let's take a look and get some steam out of this. Little, huge amounts of it. First thing we need to do is fish out that lemon. That is not going to liquidise at all very well. These are really beautifully soft. But for sure I'm going to need to add some more liquid, which I'm going to do right now. So at this point I'm going to liquidise it, I use one of these guys, you stick it in and do that. Um, or you can use a food presser type thing. Let me get on with that, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, let me just get rid of this. Now that, for me, is a beautiful consistency. You need to check this for salt. In fact, let me just take a little spoon. That nutmeg's doing its thing. I can taste that really well. I think it needs a little bit more salt, personally. The lemon's really working. The cardamom's very slight. I'm going to let this just cool down for just three or four minutes and then I'm going to add some cream to it. You don't have to do that, but I think that's going to add a really kind of smoothing texture to it. And the reason I'm going to wait is I don't want to add cream straight to boiling liquid. It can sometimes curdle. Back in a moment. Okay, that was just a couple of minutes. Take the edge off that. I mean, it's still really hot. Now I've got some UHT uh, thick cooking cream. UHT means uh, ultra high temperature, which kind of you see that in milk quite often. It's a long life milk. So I've just thrown that in and I give that a good mix. Just going to add a little smoothness to it. And there we have, we've got a really, I believe, a really fantastic soup. I'm really going to enjoy this. All the guys in the office are going to. Hopefully enjoyed my soup. As we always say, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoy this. Play around with it. Get it how you like. There's no kind of rules. You need to have fun when cooking. And we hope to see you soon. Lots of love.